Currently, Aria is one year, four and a half months old. So we wanted to make a video for Aria because we haven't got to put one together for her for her birthday. It was a little bit chaotic, but... You said noisy. You said it was noisy. It was, it was too noisy. <laughs> what we've learned from, about Aria since she's been born is she's a very wild child <laughs> and fearless. At this moment, she's trying to climb on the tables and go climb high. She wants to climb high, for sure. She's a little daredevil. She's a bit of a daredevil. She loves screaming. <laughs> she has her own little language right now that she's pretty much barking at everybody. She does this cawing thing. She does the cawing thing. Her scream is so high-pitched. It really does hurt your ears. When Dante <laughs> says it, sometimes I'm like, fine but yeah. when she does it right back by your head it really hurts your ears so during easter she was able to to move around uh the boys they're running around in their yeah. uh, grocery bags <laughs> getting all the eggs but she was able to move around during easter she likes to direct them at what to do her first steps now she used to just crawl around doing this weird little thing where she, <laughs> she did a little scoot <laughs> yeah she scooted on the bottom. <laughs> and she could do it pretty fast yes yeah, she, uh, by, she... by the time she started to walk she was scooting pretty quickly this is her first real walk with us we think we figured it out with aria walking she has to have something in her hand okay ready okay ready here you go <laughs> you did it! Good job! <laughs> she just kind of did it out of the blue. We were just kind of... She wanted a cup. She wanted... Well, she was holding the cup and that kind of gave and her balance. And she couldn't hold anything else. Those little steps right there, mind blown. We just, she, we didn't think she was going to be walking anytime soon. Then all of a sudden, she didn't want to stop walking. She just, just took off running. And she doesn't like to be in the carry case. I, I took her fishing a handful of times and she's into it until I stop moving. <laughs> she doesn't like to be stationary. She no. likes to go, go, go. And Zeus is her favorite friend right now. She falls asleep on Zeus. Like, she has fallen asleep on Zeus so many times. Fourth of July was her first uh, experience with explosions. So yeah, her first 4th of July was kind of a dud. She didn't really do the firework thing. Freddie was sick. I mean, I was down with teeth problems. So he wasn't out and about. And then COVID was raging, so we didn't have a very big family get together or anything. There was no parade or anything like that. So her second one got to do all the fun stuff. And then her first parade was the... Uh, that was 4th of July. The 4th of July parade. Was this before then? Yeah, this was this in the morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we did oh, fireworks on the 3rd, the night of the 3rd, because of scheduling the fire truck. with the kids. Oh, yeah. So then the next day, we had oh, the oh, 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 last trip to the coast we went to we went to see some animals at this little uh discovery zoo in newport yeah it's over by the uh, aquarium yeah uh, if you've never been there you've passed it if you've been to the aquarium it's that little that little tourist stop or knickknack shops and stuff 
And uh, it was a pretty cool place. They let you walk around with these armadillos. Uh, they freaked me out because they started... Eyeballing your toes yeah, and your and sandals. I, and, you know, I don't know armadillo habits, so... <laughs> A uh, pretty good little range of animals in this place. Got to hold alligator. Oh yeah, you got to hold the alligator. Uh, there's a bunch of little creatures, and then there's uh, like a petting zoo area where you can go in and feed, you know, your regular farm animals. She just loves being outside. We took her the first time to the zoo. And, uh, walked the zoo, and it was crowded, but it's also had the uh, COVID restrictions where you had to purchase your tickets beforehand. All that stuff but ma the majority of the animals are out but oh she has got some power behind her yes she does Arya when you're watching this just know that you were picking up everything and moving everything that I didn't think was gonna be an issue my toolboxes <laughs> <laughs> the table chairs all right Arya so I'm interested to see how your personality turns out but right now you're a little firecracker you're getting your words in she says mama dada woof woof Yep, yes, <laughs> and a couple other little words. Mm -hmm. um, she hasn't put a sentence together yet, but I know when she gets there, she's not going to stop. Oh, she's never going to stop talking, we know that. But the Oktoberfest is coming up, and she's oh. got a dirndl, and she's been practicing her chicken dance. She's she loves music. Oh, yeah, she's a very music. She is a dancer and just loves music. Headbangs, her, their favorite song right now, hers is... The Ghostbusters theme song. <laughs> yes. Um, the metal version. The metal version, because she's hardcore. Mm -hmm. But that's pretty much everything you need to, to know about yourself, Aria, during these times. We love you with all our heart, and you are one crazy kid. And we're excited to see where you're going to turn out to be, and the personality that's going to come with you, because, <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> you got a lot of personality right now. All right. Ha <laughs> <laughs>